yourself. yourself <laughs> Bionic for more. I'm surprised. I knew full well Risha would pose a threat, but I wasn't expecting half as much from a simple detective. You could say it runs in the family. I'm just as impressed by how proficient you are with that blade, given your age. I've still got a long way to go, honestly. I won't be worthy of being called a divine blade anytime soon. Rain, time is running short. I think it's time you stopped holding back. <sighs> I suppose you're right. What? Be careful! What's he doing? Such negative energy. Initialization process rebooting all systems in an initialized state. We did it! <sighs> what a relief. What should we do? Captain Lecter gave us two orders. One was to prevent the initialization. The other was only to be completed in the event we couldn't. We'll just do that one. Captain Lecter! It 
couldn't be the same Lecter from the Imperial Army's Intelligence Division, right? Heed my call! Valamar, the Ashen Knight! Holy... An Ion? No, it isn't! Wait, no! Lloyd! If we can at least get the data out of here. We'll split our losses this time. Arrest warrants haven't been issued for either of you yet. So go. Damn it. Just tell me one thing, as I'm sure you already know. My name is Lloyd Bannings, and I'm a police detective with the Crossbell State Police Department. What's your name? I'm with Thor's Military Academy, Class si No. I'm a provisional military officer with the Crossbelt Government, Reen Schwarzer. Yes, this is Schwarzer speaking. Hey, good job on the mission.
good about it, I'm afraid. I couldn't prevent them from erasing all the data. Not the end of the world. You've still got plenty of other options. They're not the type to give up easily, but it'll set them back in the meantime. Is that so, Captain? You must know them fairly well. I guess you could say that. They're no pushovers. They've had the odds stacked against them in more ways than I can count. I'm so sorry I couldn't do anything. I had a feeling something was going to happen, but I was powerless when it really did. Don't feel bad. There was no way we could have seen that coming. Especially that night. It was kind of like an ion, but at the same time it wasn't. He called it the Ashen Night, didn't he? world. Do you think that was one of the Imperial Army's new weapons, too? I don't think so. I mean, yeah, it shares some similarities with their soldats, but I don't know. Feels like there's more to it than and its pilot was anything but normal. Well, let's put it out of our minds for now. We stopped that data from falling into the Army's hands. Wasn't our smoothest operation, but I'd still call it a success. I'm sure Tio, Yona, and Roberts can make do even without those terminals. We can always count on Ellie, Randy, Noel, the Chief, and Dudley, too. Even Kia, Ario, Swazi, and Zeit will help us. There are still many barriers left between us and our goals, but we can get over them, so long as we're together! Right. You're heading back then? That's the plan. I've played my part. I'll return with Valimar on the train this afternoon. Well, if that's what you want to do. I was just wondering if you wanted to go back on the Eisengraft together instead. You two haven't spoken since, right? Excuse me. This is where we part ways, then. I look forward to any collaborative efforts we may have in the future. Yeah. Oh, right. Do you have anything you want me to pass on to Milliam? Not especially. We may technically be sisters, but I am simply a tool. I feel no particular familial bond with her. I imagine that deep down, she feels the same way. Yeah, but... No, forget it. Take care, okay? I don't doubt you're going to be sent on plenty of dangerous missions in the days to come. Uh, understood? Is something wrong? Not really. I'm just...
kind of jealous of them, I guess. Sorry about that, Valimar. Can't imagine it was a very pleasant trip for you, all bound up like that. It, it did, did not present, present a problem. I will now enter an inactive state and allow the attempts to perform maintenance. Thanks. Well then, I'll leave him with you. Welcome back, Reen. You must be exhausted. Not really. I barely did anything. Everything went off without a hitch, mostly... Not to mention the planning of your people. <sighs> You're annoyed, I take it. By the way we do things. Not really. Regardless of the means, the war coming to a swift end was a good thing for everyone. As for what happened to Crossbell, I'm not in any position to talk. 
No, those aren't what bother me. I can buy that you had no idea Rufus was an iron blood. But did you really not know about my real father? Uh, I didn't have any hard evidence, but I did suspect that might be the case. You just seemed somehow similar. The air about you, your... I was always puzzled by how fascinated he was by your class as well. I see. Excuse me, then. Right. That wasn't the only reason I worried about you, you know. Not that I could possibly tell him that. It's hard to believe it's been a whole month since I was here last. Guess it didn't snow after all. <sighs> it's not like the excitement of that day has faded away or- So why? Why do I feel so cold? Huh? Oh, Lino flowers. Welcome back, Reen. Huh? Welcome back. <laughs> what are you doing standing there? <laughs> It's not like you to wallow in nostalgia, to the flat. You all came to see me. <laughs> they started budding just yesterday. Should be in full bloom in about a week. <laughs> Guess some of them couldn't wait. Guess not. It's good to be back, you guys. Must be wiped out after all you did, though. I'm fine, actually. It really wasn't that tough. Still, did all of you really come out here just to welcome me back? It's not like we second years have any lessons to worry about this time of year. 
Besides, I already had to come out here because of Valimar, so I figured I might as well say hi to you too. Technically, the first years are supposed to be in class right now, but I turned it into a self-study period instead. And that was only possible because everyone's favorite captain told us exactly when you'd be arriving. <sighs> really now? It's nice to see you here too, Celine. I went out of my way to be here or anything. But given the way that you were acting when you left, I was a little worried about the... I mean, I wasn't! Not at all! <laughs> Still... Thanks, everyone. So what now? Going back to your dorm for some well-earned rest? We can carry your stuff for you if you want. No, no, I'm fine. You said that class is- I mean, I have been absent for a month now. Wow, you're no fun at all. I was hoping we could skip the whole class thing and get to the welcome back party. I like that idea. Come on, it's party time! Am I the only one who cares about studying at this school? <laughs> well, maybe we can hold the party tonight instead. In that case, we should probably head back to the Academy. Oh, and I know I said it before, but it's wonderful to have you back. Thanks. I'm happy to be back, Elisa. I'll never forget those days. The final weeks we spent together as a class are like dazzling jewels forever etched into my memories. I cherished every last moment. I never wanted it to come. The time stops for no one. The minutes and hours kept passing. After what happened, Balflame Palace soon returned to its original form. It was almost as if everything that took place there was some sort of dream. People's memories of that day started becoming vague. Many were convinced it was some kind of... ...that may have been in part a result of the chaotic days that followed, brought about by the Chancellor. After the war, the entire country feared that Calvert would invade Crossbell and try to take it for its own. Using that to his advantage, Rufus quickly convinced the nobility to support him. And in January 1205, the combined forces of both Imperial and Provincial Crossbell no longer possessed the weapon of mass destruction that had annihilated Gorelia Fortress. Thanks to that, the city was occupied in a mere day, with no bloodshed. Calvert was quick to react, sending countless airships to try and drive the Imperial forces out. However, between Rufus's leadership and the combined might of the tanks and soldats under his command. As for me, Chancellor Osborne's words became the reality. 
Valimar and I were heralded as those responsible for Heimdall's liberation. And as the purported hero to the nation, I'd received and accepted a request in February to back up our forces in Crossbow. It was there that I found myself suddenly leading numerous soldats and fighting off the Republican army. Before I knew it, everyone around me was referring to me as the Ashen Chevalier. Time kept flowing, and mid-March came. The month in which Class 7 would finally say their goodbyes. And that brings our history review right up... Next week, we'll be covering the 50-year period from the Orbal Revolution up to the present day. We're blowing through this material a lot more quickly than I would otherwise, so try to keep up with your reading! Oh, and Emma and Machias, if you see anyone struggling, try to help them out, okay? I fully intend to. Leave it to us. I've got plenty of good reference books on the subject. That would be very helpful, actually. Sounds like a pain. I do happen to have a few gaps in my knowledge of the revolution. I should be able to help out with the technological side of things if you guys need it. I'm guessing we're gonna run into that Schmidt guy's name a lot, too. Well, he was one of the three leading disciples of Professor Epstein, so yeah. <laughs> It'll feel strange seeing his name in textbooks, knowing how he is in real life. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of amazing to think we were able to meet him now. Alright, like I said, I'll be giving a quiz next week on everything we've covered up to now. Which means it'll cover quadratic functions, factorizations, sets, logic, and probability. Oh. And if I'm feeling really mean, there might be a little calculus in there, so... That's a lot. I'm getting depressed just thinking about it. Sounds more like he's reciting some kind of curse. It is all material we've covered in class before, you know. <laughs> It'll be worth going over the most basic formulas at the very least. What kind of bait? A debate. It's when people are divided into groups for and against something, then they argue their viewpoints. Nice work, guys. You poor kids must be exhausted. 
feels like all your other instructors are dead set on cramming your brains with as much material as humanly possible. I want to crawl into a hole and die. <laughs> you said it. Still, this is exactly how we wanted it. Right. They're doing it for our sake, so I don't mind it so much. There's no way we could cover everything in class, so it's sweet of them to give us the bullet points while they still can. It's paying off for us in the long run, yeah, so we owe them a lot. But forcing you to try and keep up with us is a little unfair of us, though. Yeah! You're gonna have to do all of this again next year! Are you sure you're fine with this arrangement? Of course. This is to my benefit, too. If I get all of this crammed into my head now, maybe I can even come out on top on next year's midterms. Well... That's some confidence. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you actually did it, though. Reen has the knack for pulling off anything he puts his mind to, after all. <laughs> I'm probably just being too optimistic. Nah, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Guess we'll know for sure next year. Anyway, tomorrow's the day you've all been waiting for. Your next free day. I know you've got enough schoolwork to choke a horse, but try to carve out a little time for your clubs and all that youthful jazz. The forecast for tomorrow is clear blue skies. Might be the perfect chance to sneak off and get into some ooh la la with that special someone. Um... And truly, you teach us all by living your life as a shining counterexample. <laughs> Spoken like a true lifetime member of the Lonely Hearts Club, Instructor. Hey! I'll have you know that there are plenty of guys who would do anything for a private lesson with yours truly. But if that many men are interested in you, how can you spend so much time drinking alone in your room? I think the polite thing to do here is just smile and nod. If you keep setting your sights on guys like Laura's dad, you might as well just buy a couple cats and get it over with. Uh, it does seem like she's fighting an uphill battle to find a good match. Ah, just you wait, guys! In two weeks, when you see the hordes of chiseled, elegant gents draped over me, we'll see who has the last laugh. <laughs> Time really does fly. It's hard to believe our last free day is tomorrow. Yeah, it felt like we still had more time. <laughs> For me, it feels like it's been ages since I last had one. I suppose it would. Were you able to rest up at all while you were away? Not really. It was basically work, work, work the whole time. I did get taken into Crossbell City during what time off I did have. But I can't say I felt very comfortable there. I'm sure. Indeed. That must have been more painful than anything. To the people of Crossbell, we Erebonians are aggressors. I can hardly imagine they would welcome us with open arms. That doesn't sound like it'd stop Lecter from living it up over there, though. <laughs> he did take me to a casino once, actually. He won so much, he might as well have been cheating. Shocking. It always feels like people who like gambling really like it, huh? So, does anyone have anything planned for our free day? Remember, it's the very last one, so make it count. We wouldn't want to end the day with any regrets. True enough. Although, 
I wonder if I'd end the day regretting that it has to end in the first place if we made it too much fun. I've got so much that I want to do, I'm not sure where to start. I know I want to attend practice, at least. Oh, same! I've got to go taste test some new dishes for the cooking club, plus Kershaw's has a new menu up, and... How many stomachs do you have? Will you be helping the student council tomorrow, Reen? That's the plan. It sounds like Toa will finish handing all her work over to the others today, but they're bound to be busy. So, I thought it'd be nice to take some of it off their hands, whether they like it or not. Ah, oh, Reen, ever the reliable gopher. <laughs> That's a very you response. <laughs> if there's anything we can help with, let us know, okay? Nothing, really. I just wanted to spend a little more time with you. I know, but that can wait. Right now, I just want to be with you for as long as I can. Please?
Thank you.